Hello everyone, here is a question from percentage and the question is write each of the following as a percentage and we have a fractions and decimals we have to convert that into a percentage. Now percentage means out of 100 anything out of 100 is called percentage like this is how you are going to calculate the percentage. Now here I have to find out the 7 upon 25 percentage it means whenever you are finding out the percentage you are finding out the percentage right this means there is no percentage symbol yet on that number. So whenever you have to find out the percentage you have to multiply with 100 that's it whatever number you have just multiply with 100 you will get the percentage of it and there is a different question where percentage is given already like they have given uh, 60 percentage so, and then we have to convert into a fraction or ratio that is different so here percentage we have to calculate they have so you can see the numbers don't have a percentage sign right so we have to find out the percentage so whenever you're finding out the percentage just multiply with 100 and do the cancellation you will get the answer there so let's start with the first question so we have 7 upon 25 so we have to find out its percentage like I said you have to just multiply with 100 so multiply with 100 and then do the cancellation you have to bring it to the reduced form reduced form means you have to cancel it bring it to the smallest form so here I can cancel 25 and 100 if you want you can cancel this in 5 table I'll gonna directly cancel this in 25 table because 25 fours are is 100 so 25 ones are 25 fours are is 100 now I'm left with 7 and 4 in the numerator multiplied 7 fours are 28 so we'll get 28 percent that's it it's very simple now let's move on to the second question the second we have 14 upon 625 we have to find out the percentage again so percentages mean multiply with 100 so again I'm going to cancel this in 25 table see if you, if you want to cancel this with a smaller number you can go ahead you're going to get the same answer I'm directly doing a 25 table okay so as remember 25 square is 625 okay 25 25 is a 625 and like in the first question I cancel 100 in 25 table so this 100 also goes in 25 table so 25 25 is 625 and 25 4 is 100 Okay. now multiply I cannot cancel this further so 15 fours are when you do it you will get 56 and then divide by 25 I cannot cancel this further so cancellation is not possible so I'm going to divide it so I'm going to divide 56 by 25 so we know 25 twos are is 50 subtract it so we'll get 0 and then drop this 6 here when you subtract it we'll get 6 and then 0 here and then we got 6 we cannot solve it further so I'm going to use a decimal here so I'm going to put decimal point I'm going to take one 0 here so 25 twos are is again 50 subtract it I'll get 10 since I have a decimal there I'm going to put one 0 and we know 25 fours are is 100 that's it okay so we got here 2.24 so this will be 2.24 percentage okay so we have bring brought it to the lowest form the next question that's the third one third we have 5 by 8 so 5 by 8 we have to find out the percentage so multiply with 100 I'm gonna cancel this in 4 table because 100 doesn't go in 8 table so 4 to the 8 you, uh, and 4 25 is 100 you can divide and check out when you divide 100 by 4 you will get 25 so 4 25 is 100 so 4 25 is 100 now if you see here I cannot cancel anything further so 25 5 is 125 so 125 divide by 2 now you cannot cancel this is because 125 is an odd number it doesn't goes in two tables so we're going to divide and check out so 2 2 6 are 12 so remainder will be 0 drop this 5 so 2 4 uh, 2 2 is a 4 right so when you subtract it we'll get 1 I'm doing it here we'll get 1 as a remainder okay and then you put decimal you will get 10 so 2 5 is a 10 I'm just doing it uh, rough division here I hope you know how to divide it you will get 62.5 I don't have a space here so it will be 62.5 so this is equal to 62.5 percentage that's it then the next one we have a fourth question so in fourth one we have a decimal 0 0.8 now whenever they have given you decimal you have to first convert into a fraction now I guess you know how you have learned this in the fourth or fifth class in case you have a decimal I have a this decimal point right after decimal have only one digit so you remove the decimal point and then divide by 10 
Now suppose you have two digits after decimal, you will get 100 here. That many zeros you will get. Suppose you have a three numbers, three digits after decimal, you will get three zeros. That is thousand you will get it. Okay. So this is easy way. So once you have converted this into a fraction, now you have to find out the percentage. So I'm going to find out the percentage of it. So it will be 8 by 10 multiplied by 100. So 10 ones are 10 tens are 100. So this is equal to 80 percentage. That's it. Now we have a last question. Fifth one. Again, it's a decimal 0 0.005. We have to convert this into first fraction and then can find out its uh, its uh, percentage. So, uh, like I said in the previous question, after decimal, I have a three numbers, right? So, I'll get three zeros. That is, five divided by thousand. I'll get. Okay. So now you have to convert into a percentage of so five upon thousand multiplied by hundred. Now this is you can cancel this in hundred table. Hundred ones are and 100 tens are is 1000. You can cancel this in 5 and 10 table, 5 ones are and 5 twos are 10. So I'm left with here 1 upon 2. Now 1 upon 2 is nothing but half or 0 0.5. So this is 0 0.5 percentage. That's it. So it's very simple. Whenever they're giving you any uh, any question, it could be a fraction, it could be decimal. You have to first, uh, like if it's in decimal, convert this into fraction. And once in the number is in fraction, multiply with 100, bring it to the reduced form and that will be your answer. I hope this question is clear. In case you have further question on percentage or any other chapter, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.